What's up, Woodford? We're out here in beautiful Midway, Kentucky today. I am at the home place at Midway, joined with Sarah and Tanya. Ladies, this is gorgeous. We could not make up a better day. And I think that goes to show just the beauty of your campus. Literally, to my right-hand side, we have a field with horses, with new um, foals out, mom and baby horses running around. And that's what your um, residents here can see on a daily basis, right? Can you guys tell us a little bit about Mid um, Home Place at Midway and how it came to be? Sure, sure. Well, welcome. We're glad to have you. And um, our, our picturesque scene is the best part of, of our setting. But, you know, we, we've got a really rich history um, because um, a, it's grassroots campaign. The um, A group of concerned citizens formed the Midway Nursing Home Task Force. And um, over a 16-year course of time, raised money. Um, they they found Christian Care Communities to be the builder, owner, and operator of Home Place, and really did it so that Woodford Countyans could stay in Woodford County, could come home to Woodford County and age in place. Um, and that community commitment was just rich, and um, and it continues today. They ha they haven't stopped, even though we've operated opened. Um, they haven't stopped, and they volunteer, and they continue to support us. That is awesome. You guys, um, allowing folks to be able to age at home is so important. And you have so many different options for them as they start to the aging process. You guys have different levels of care. Can you tell our viewers today a little bit about that? Sure, sure. Um, we actually have four levels of care. We have um, assisted living and independent living as two of them. Um, and then we have specialized memory care. And then we have skilled nursing care where we can also offer subacute rehab um, for people who maybe just need a short term to get back up on their feet and then head back home. Um, and so we do all of that here. I was talking to Sarah before we got started videoing about the greenhouse concept. This was something new to me and I learned so much. Sarah, can you tell our viewers about the greenhouse concept and what you guys provide there? Yes, we are uh, the only greenhouse in Kentucky and uh, we have four cottages, as you can see, with 12 apartments each, and it's preference-based. So basically, we really hone in on the person and do person-centered care, and um, that may look like breakfast made to order for all of our people on campus. They can wake up when they want to. Again, really uh, making sure that we meet the person uh, where they need the most, and uh, you know, benefiting them with that model. That is incredible. Something else that you guys are known for is your memory care unit. Um, you use the best friends approach, and I think it's called the best friends home even. Can you tell our viewers about that? Sure. Uh, uh, so we, um, we uh, utilize the best friends approach, which is just a really common sense approach to taking care of folks with dementia. And what it says is what a person with dementia really needs is a good friend. So to Sarah's point, it's that person-based, preference-based. We get to know their life story. We know who they are. We help become their memory when their memory is evading them. Um, and we can really structure their their day, their routine, their environment to something that's really supportive of them. The approach was started back in um, in the late 80s um, in Lexington and really has become world renowned um, and um, recognized as kind of the approach for folks with dementia. That's an awesome thing to offer here. Community and culture in, in these types of settings is so important, right? People want to age in place and they want to be able to have friends and community and kind of keep normalcy as much as possible. Can you guys talk about what that means to you guys here at the home place at Midway? Sure. I think one is, you know, bringing folks home here um, and it being part of that, but then creating a sense of community. It's been a little challenging lately. We used to have a really open campus and lots of people could just come visit and be part of it, but also allowing our elders to get out and be part of the Midway community, whether that's going out to eat or being part of the fall festival um, and really honoring that. So right now we really are working towards creating that, that community here. Um, and when we can't have visitors and then as soon as we can reopen back up it's getting the folks um, whether that be Midway University students or um, the churches from uh, from Woodford County coming in and visiting and bringing us things um, to really just um, all the things that are around us because we have tremendous community support. That is awesome. Um, and so if you are starting to think about aging, um, aging in place, the process for you or a family member, it's never too early to start the conversation. And I know you guys have things like wait lists. You can go ahead and look into um, funding options and pricing options and just understand kind of what's available to you. So can you tell folks who might be considering that next step or that conversation with a loved one how they get started in this process? 
so we are still doing visits and what you would do you would call the home place and you would set up a visit with me and I would show you what level of care you might be interested in whether it be assisted living uh, memory care and our skilled nursing and rehab so um, you would just call set up a visit and then we could talk about next steps and we could help you plan in, uh, for the future of your loved one that is awesome and uh, you know I think as they as your loved one continues to age and might have different needs they also can age right here on campus in place as well right yes so we have people that come into our assisted living that maybe eventually they need uh, skilled nursing uh, long-term care and we can provide those options so they don't need to move to another place um, which helps with transitioning and helps them feel comfortable that they can just stay here on property. Well, ladies, thank you so much for this information. It is a gorgeous day. It is a great place to be here at the Home Place at Midway. Check them out, you all. If you, if you need to go to their website or just give Sarah and Tanya a call here to understand what options are available. This is such a great community resource. We're so thankful to have them, specifically each of these ladies doing the work that they're doing, but everyone here at the Home Place at Midway. Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you next time.